Hi, this is Squiggle Mom, and I just went through an awesome experience as an inventing merit badge counselor for the Boy Scouts of America at the Long Beach Area Council Sea Base. As you may know, this is where I have a make a space we call Make a Sville, and we do a lot of things that are related to inventing. And this experience was very special for me. Enjoy the boys' inventions and please subscribe. At here, we're, we're looking, looking at a water balloon launcher. and or water balloon and or snowball like launcher. Okay. We would just use this is our imaginary snowball or water balloon. Okay. We put it like this. And we're only using foam yeah. so that way we don't hurt anybody or anything. Personally, oh, you guys have to keep it straight. You'd pull it back like this. Uh huh. And shoot it. Nice. Okay. Great. Hey, and um. What problem are you solving here? Boredom, boredom and heat. <laughs> and boredom pranks. And pranks? And also, <laughs> and also, if like, you're in a snowball fight and they're just chucking snowballs. Oh, right. So like, you know, rapid you action. Can yeah, go okay. really far away and have your team and just shoot it and they'd be like, where's that coming from? Uh, okay. Yeah. What's an improvement you might consider to do with that? Make it more um, colorful because you just use black. Yeah, okay. And, and then, then also, also make it stronger. Make make this one piece, make this all one piece. Would you use a different material perhaps? Yeah, possibly. And it would be more stretchy and more tight. Too. Okay. And then probably a stretchy like material, almost like, like a, a cloth material. Okay, because that's tomorrow's exercise, right? Pull it back. So it would be even better. Okay. So, that so tell us about your device. Um, so basically, if you, uh, this is a pole with like a claw, um, like a tip at the end. So when you, if you lose something in the, in the bottom, like in the deep end of a pole, mm -hmm. um, like glasses or in this case a ball, okay. you can easily just um, grab it with the pole. Okay. Um, so we're not done. This is just a model. Sure. So pretend this is like a ball in the water. Okay, great. How long is your pole? This is just a prototype. Uh huh. But we're looking at uh, 10 feet. 10 feet? Oh, okay. And uh, what what upgrades are you considering? We're considering making on the bigger maybe like put a string in it so it can contract and. Oh, that's a good idea. And hmm. also make the the these are made out of paper clips, so we're hoping to make it out of something stronger. Something a little stronger, okay. Something a, a thicker metal, maybe. Okay. So yeah. I'm Start with. Oops, wrong way. Here we go. Come on. Here we go. Demonstrating the yeah. prototype. Well, it was the prototype. Okay. Now we're demonstrating the, the real one. Then we'll it. So, do you want to hold it? Like that? No. Pretty good. It worked. It's just. I think it would work better if it was heavier. The aimer. Well, but, but you also have to remember the purpose of it, right? What's the purpose? Just to have fun. To have fun. So. I yeah, think it qualifies as fun. Water balloons are not yeah. pieces of foam. It's <laughs> foam, like, Doesn't go very far. <laughs> All right. Okay, next. Okay. All right, okay. next group. Yeah. Three. 
Okay. Yeah, coming up to this table. Uh, we're group C. S E A. And our our is called the deep sea grabber. So if you're in a pool and you drop your uh, goggles in the deep end, right. um, and you it's like the pressure's too much for you to dive down there, you could use the deep sea grabber to pick it up. Okay. Uh, I'm Alex. I'm Dave. And this is our project. Okay, let's see if so it works. We use a prototype. We use a Oh, okay. For the real one, we used coat hanger, um, uh, like... A wire coat hanger. Yeah, wire coat hanger. Like about one pole. All right, let's see it work. Okay, oh no, I dropped my glasses. Oh no, I dropped my glasses. No, okay. You just go like this. Wait. Try going from straight up. Straight down. Nice. Okay, let's see. Pick up the pencil. Oh. Does the other one work? Will the other one do it? It's a. It's a specific purpose. <laughs> we could use this to like drag it into the shallow end. And what are some additional uh, ideas you had for putting this device into use? So at first we were gonna uh, put a claw attached to the RC submarine. Uh huh. And then it would have also the play value, right? That sounds but, kind of fun. Uh, we didn't can't have really enough do that time. in a week. So, yeah. so we resorted to the claw. But I think the other idea is actually pretty cool. If you if you invented a little submarine to pick up goggles that dropped in at the end of the pool, do you think that it could make it into sharper image? Of course. Yeah. I think so, right? Of course it would. <laughs> Yeah, little place up right Yeah. And like when like that, it would oh, go down, I but see. it wouldn't come up. So it automatically sort of forces it open. How come this one? Light in the day. Okay. Okay, now to do this. Cool. Yay. Oh yeah. Be gentle. Be gentle. Because uh, that's not actually a wheel back there. Fun machine. <laughs> what is it? It's a water balloon launcher. Oh wow! Okay, but they're using that? sponges in between. Sponge. Okay, uh, how far does it go? Uh, We're gonna find to squeeze out. It. <laughs> but if you squeeze it, all the water will come out and won't go as far. 
I don't want to put any ideas in there. <laughs> have, you, have you come up with a stink bomb yet? Uh oh. Just launch it. Wow. Nice. Yeah, That's water. really good, you guys. It really good. Been better if we had a lot of because it's like I don't want to squeeze it to. Oh yeah yeah yeah. No, this is well, good. Some, something that's aerodynamic. He's gonna get a tennis ball, so when he comes back. I like the middle better. Wait, no, yeah. Just test. The middle is better. The middle is better. I think the middle. It's gotta be a hard object. Yeah, to this, pick is, up. this is squishy. It's gotta go around and it, it. And it absorbs the water, so it makes it heavy. Right. Yeah. Well, and also, once you test it, test something, you might find certain things that don't quite work the way you expect it. So you just revise it, right? Just. So you revise. Wait, be careful. And revising it is, wait, you know, just once you start wait, seeing what the problems are. Wait, 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 wait. You might not be able to go around it, but you might be able I to go it. under and grab it. Oh. Yeah. So it, it could be designed for something like the tin, but not necessarily something like the sponge. Oh, hey, we got the sponge! Yay, you got Lonnie. the sponge! Woo! Lonnie. Grabbing cans. Pick, oh. Picking up stuff. Picking up stuff t uh, designed for the pool. Right. Um, but we tested it on dry and with this with this box. So they were actually testing it with the sponge. You guys want to test it with the sponge after? So it's for when you drop goggles on the deep end of the pool and yeah. Yeah. they can't see that. Pat and Pendy. Yeah. Right. Um, Pat and Pendy. Pendy. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, I couldn't find the ball. <laughs> patent. Sign up. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's pending a patent pending. Yeah. <laughs> So it's uh, just a coat hanger? Yeah, coat that's what they started with most of their prototyping materials. It's a coat hanger and an old Swiffer stick. It is? Oh, it's like that it, That would clip on to like the flexible thingy. Yay! Woohoo! Let's watch, let's watch. So glad I found those sponges. <laughs> well, there's a way of having a string come through and somehow pull it. Yeah, that's what they yeah, were thinking about. Thing. So we were limited by some of the materials we had on hand, right. but yes, certainly that was one of the things yeah, that they suggested. Yeah. They just couldn't no. implement that particular no uh, way. vision Actually, this time. I'm just kidding. Oh. Hey, that was good. No. Wow. Yeah, and a little too close to yeah. the water, guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. as far as possible. You guys have to stay there. <laughs> that wouldn't go as far because, like, because you guys were moving. You want to stay still? Yeah. Need more, about right. more lift, more lift. And drop. Whoa. Oh. So that's to prevent a uh, bed source from forming, right? Yeah, yeah basically. And then now uh, uh -huh. we're going to bring them over. Oh, we have to go Does it feel much different? So you guys understand the concept? You don't have that problem, obviously. Your, your kids and you are not bedridden, few but kids and you. huh? Few, few okay. kids. Oh uh, wait, let me let me get this back a little further. Right. Good. Okay, yeah, it snapped. Uh -huh. We're gonna take a picture of that ramp. Uh -huh. Okay. There was a sound that I wasn't sure of. <laughs> okay, go mm -hmm. ahead and uh, yeah, go ahead it's and pull a, it's it. A, it's a, it's a mess. Look at that. Nice work. So are there any questions you guys want to ask Bob that you haven't asked yet? I have a question. Bob, when can we test it in New Zealand? <laughs> <laughs> when are you coming? Because <laughs> he has property in New Zealand. That's why he created it. Yeah, I totally want to do it. But you also have problems. This is your tension adjuster. So it determines how deep the needle is and how you base that off how thick the fabric is.